Yeah. Uh, oh, we got a great so show. <laughs> I am so excited that Goldie Hawn is my co-host today. Very great to have you here. Cheers, everybody. Uh, we got a great show. There's this whole controversy now of, uh, of people offering pole dancing classes for kids. We're going to get to that a little bit. A little. I know. <laughs> the woman in the audience is like, oh. We're going to get to that a little bit later. Also, this story that was making headlines, I know it outraged you. A, a, a Paralympian, a woman who competed in the, uh, the U.S. Paralympi in the Paralympics overseas, uh, in London, she got back. Her home had been robbed. Mm. Her medals, everything gone. Mm. We're going to have her out here and talk to her about that. Yeah. Uh, but first, the, the first 15 items making news. It's so great to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. This is really fun. It is very, very exciting. Is we, um, I, I want to talk about what happened at the Emmys last night because we, we, and we're actually going to have a live report from a, a, a reporter over at KTTV uh, Fox in L.A., Give us an update on all the things that happened. But before we get to that, there's a couple stories that have been making headlines today that mm -hmm. you and I were talking about backstage. Mm -hmm. First of all, first time, I think, in any school in the United States, um, in New York City today, schools are now handing out birth control pills and Plan B uh, birth control pills for kids who may have, ha or kids who have had unprotected sex, may have gotten pregnant. They can uh, take this Plan B thing. And the parents are not informed about it. Well, the parents, I think, are informed. Well, they, they, they have get, to sign a consent. They sign a consent. Actually, they sign whether uh, they don't, don't want, want to it. be right. It would be much more interesting if they had to say, "Yes, I want my child to take this." It's right. a different mindset. So the school sends um, out to all the parents a letter saying, "If you do not want your child to have free uh, Plan B available or birth control pills available, let us know." And if the parent doesn't send anything back, opting out this is available to the kids. Exactly. I mean, as a parent, you know, it really is in question because you say, well, isn't that the parent's job, mm. right? Isn't that something the parents should be mindful of when they're actually d raising your children? Um, and also, the question is, this is a drug. This is a hormone. I mean, you're really giving a hormone. Right. That, that's one interesting thing. Yeah. School nurses can't give mm. out Tylenol because of effects it may have. Yeah. Literally, it's true, but they're giving this out, which may yeah. have more effects. We're getting a lot of response on, on Facebook. Heck yes, says uh, Tammy have them in dispensers all around the school. The interesting thing is, I, I saw the statistic, 28% of kids entering their freshman year, entering ninth grade, have already had sex or sexually active. 28% in New York City schools. Mm, mm. So the question is, if they're not telling their parents, does this at least you know, protect them yes. from, from getting pregnant? Yes. I, I get why the motivation behind it. My hope is that just sending out that letter would start a conversation between the kid and the parent. Exactly. You would hope that might, uh, exactly. that might occur. Because that conversation is important. You know, so many of us don't have conversations about sex. I had conversations about sex with my kids all the time. Did you really? Oh, yeah. I, that does not surprise me. Well. I, I don't know why. Well. Yeah. Whereas. Keep the door open. Yes. Whereas in my house, my mom would talk to me about, like, guys she was dating, but I would never, like, bring it up with her as a kid. But mainly because I was, like, so busy listening to her and giving her, like, relationship advice that I was, like, there was no time for her to give me some relationship advice. I'd be like, Mom, you know he's no good for you, don't you? It's true. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how schools are beginning to take the role of parenting. Yeah, I mean, they're being um, forced to, I guess. But it, it's certainly a, lot, a big concern, and a lot of parents out there are completely freaked out about this. Again, this is the first time we think in the nation that this has been happening, so it'll be interesting to, uh, to also see. Also, politically, it's actually a very big deal because, you huge. know, abortion is such a huge political issue Obviously, right now. yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it, it could... Uh, could give him something not to complain about, I guess. I don't oh, know. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, it's definitely uh, gotten very, very controversial. The other story that's making yeah. news is this Little League dad, and I, I you were kind of a sports mom, I think, I right? was a big-time sports mom. So this, this dad, uh, his kid was in Little League. He, he lost, his son lost to another Little League coach's uh, team, and that guy allegedly did not like how the coach was kind of cheering the fact that his son won and this guy's son lost. So he allegedly started sending out threatening texts to him from an untraceable cell phone. And I just want to read, he said, he's apparently, according to officials, this guy Robert uh, Sanfilippo, um, and he hasn't been convicted yet, just been charged, sent a text saying, I know where you live. Also sent a text to the dad saying, maybe I'll pick up your son from school next week tell him not to talk to strangers with a photo of his kid mm. at the bus stop. Mm. 
Well, I can tell you as a hockey mom, yeah. and I was a hockey mom for 25 you, years. You, you and Sarah Palin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well. I did not know that Goldie Hawn would have anything in common with Sarah Palin. This well, is good. I like oh this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and there, you know, you saw a lot of stuff out there that was really rough. You know, those kids really have to. Did you have, ever get carried away? Have a lot. No, I don't get carried away, but I watched other people get carried yeah. away. It's very dangerous for the kid. But you know, this guy's a bully. Mm. You know, that's what we're dealing with in schools. Uh, well, let's uh, we'll say it again. He hasn't been convicted, so we'll check in. Let's check in with KTV, uh, KTTV Fox 11 in, uh, in L.A., our uh, entertainment anchor, uh, Lisa Breckenridge. Lisa, it's good to see you. The Emmys were last night. Um, I don't know. First, I, I'll, I'll get off. I have a whole thing about the Emmys. I don't understand why celebrities, we are forced to watch celebrities give other celebrities awards. I'm happy for them. <laughs> I, I think they should have these awards. But I, don't, I feel annoyed that I'm forced to watch it. But uh -huh. that's just me. Uh, but how was it? I heard it was really hot last night, Lisa. It was, first of all, thank you uh, for having me, Anderson and Goldie. It was 94 degrees on the red carpet. So let me just say it was hotter than it has ever been. And there's nothing like seeing celebrities sweat. So I had Kathy Griffin telling me she was hoping for a well wardrobe malfunction just so the top would come off. Um, and a lot of people let it all hang out just to try and beat the heat. It was so hot at one point that the EMTs were actually the best accessory for some of the stars because people were fainting on the red carpet Were they there was really? a woman being wheeled past me yeah i don't know that any celebrities did but i think they kept them moving by very quickly but it was the reporters there those of us sitting there you know screaming out to try and talk to all the famous people they were passing out because it was so hot wow. but the celebrities still okay. managed to look effortless and glamorous yeah and and the big winners uh, were uh, were who modern family well, and here's the thing I think that was really fun this year about the Emmys because typically they are so, so predictable. You know, you always know who's going to win. Totally changed up this year because going into the awards, we had um, American Horror Story and Mad Men tied with the most nominations, 17 nominations each. Mad Men completely shut out. Zero. Wow. Big zero for Mad Men. Nothing. Whereas American Horror Story at least got two, only one acting, which was for Jessica Lang. And it was Definitely yeah. the year for Homeland, it swept, as well as Martin Family. And again, they're just so family, so funny. And then Sofia Vergara, I, I, yeah, I that gotta, was unbelievable. I, I gotta, Seeing, yeah, I got to tell our audience what happened. Sofia Vergara had a wardrobe malfunction that she tweeted pictures out. First of all, she tweeted pictures. She brought her entire family. There were like 20 people or so. This is her wardrobe malfunction. At first, I wasn't sure what part of the anatomy this was. I wasn't either. Yeah, but that confusing. is actually her backside. Yeah. We blurred it a little bit because uh, to, to be family friendly. But yeah, this was she tweeted that out minutes before uh, the the broadcast. Apparently, minutes before she went on stage, she had her backside split, as you saw the picture there. And there's another picture of it being so, sewn up. Uh, sewn up uh, right by a seamstress. That Have you happened ever... to me once. Did it really? Yeah, Steven Spielberg, and we were honoring him at an event, and I got in this dress that was strapless, and Steve Martin said something that made me laugh so hard, uh -huh. and I went, ah, ah, and just the whole dress came off. <laughs> I mean, literally. I went, wow. What do you do? I had to go get sewn into the dress. I went backstage and the seamstress was sewing me into the dress. That's crazy. I love that they have seamstresses on hand there for these, like, <laughs> they're, they're so common. Hey, uh, Lisa, thank you so much for staying up for us. I know you haven't slept. Appreciate it. Lisa Breckenridge from our Fox Affiliate. Um, but it is, I do say, I mean, First of all, being on a red carpet is my idea, as a reporter is my idea of being in Hades. Yes. Like, having to ask me, like, who are you wearing? Because I really don't care who they're wearing. Right. And, and right. remember back in the, like, the 40s, I mean, not that I was alive or, or we were alive, but, like, it was, it seemed like there was, like, no one ever, Grace Kelly never was like, I'm wearing Valentino, you know? <laughs> there was, like, an elegance. There was, yeah. like, you didn't actually know who they were wearing, and that was yeah. fine. You're but now it's like, things. you're yeah. right, there are selling mm -hmm. things. It's like, my jewelry's available on QVC. <laughs> Check it out, you know? You know what I mean? It is, it really is. You it's feel kind like of not so glamorous. Stuff, right, you know exactly. What I mean? Right. Five ninety nine, this bracelet right here, it's available <laughs> on my website. Check it out. Anyway. It's so, true. Yeah. Oh um, I'm so excited. I'm so happy uh, that you're going to be here for the whole hour. Yeah. we got to take a quick break. Up next, you're going to meet the dance instructor who's been making headlines, starting a pole dancing class for kids as young as five. Is this right? We'll be right back.